and welcome here to Talk FCB and welcome back to the channel guys where it is a new year this is the first review of 2024 but I think we'd all agree it was kind of the same old Barca let's be real here because we are all elated I'm sure we're all very very happy that we found a way again to win this game right at the death Gundogan with the penalty to seal all three points but I think it's fair to say that in the first half again. I mean, what are we doing? It was an absolute disaster class in the first half. Again. How many times are we going to come here and say, Barca start a game poorly, they go behind, we make defensive mistakes, there's basic errors in there, and I think the lack of cohesion, the lack of organisation in that first half, again, was absolutely staggering. We could have been more than one goal down. Las Palmas had the much better chance in the first half. Barca didn't even register a shot on target. So again, that's cause for concern. Before we even talk about the result, you know, none of that comes into the equation here. What we saw in the first half is a problem. And until we correct it, until we actually take it upon ourselves to put things right, we're going to keep having this conversation. We're going to keep going down this road until we see change. And we're still, even now, we're still not seeing it. Because yes, in the second half, no doubt about it, there was a reaction, just like we seen in previous Barca games but the thing is when the bar's on the floor when it's been as bad as it was in that first half you don't have to do all that much more for there to be an improvement it really doesn't take that much to see a bit of a better Barca team and certainly then we created more chances tonight Las Palmas played such a high line right the way throughout the game very rarely do we see teams do that against us but we couldn't breach it you know time and time and time again tonight it was either a poor final pass not quite getting that final ball right or it was just blatant offsides over and over and over again and it was wasteful from Barca no doubt about that there the goal that we scored through Ferran it was scruffy it was not pretty at all but the point is we'll take it right now any goal that you give us we will snatch it with both hands and although the game looked to be going to a stalemate there one all we looked like we were going to drop points again here but we found a way to win. And I've got to say, Vitor Roque came on, made his debut there with sort of 12 minutes to go in the game. I thought he made lots of runs. He looked energetic. That's what we want to see in our front line. We want to see him moving around the place. We want to see him getting about and opening up passing opportunities. And I thought he did that well. Jao Felix as well, of course, involved. And Gundogan there winning and scoring the penalty. And it was a big win for Barca because if we actually lost this game tonight, we were out of the top four. And even now, we're not exactly in it by a great margin. There's certainly pressure from behind us. We know Girona and Real Madrid are so good as well at the top. So Barca tonight have just about done what they needed to, but I still think there's problems there. And my concern has not lessened tonight. We have not convinced anybody with that display. And let's just wait and see what Barca are going to put together in these games to come, guys. Let me know your reaction tonight to that performance. Bit of a late one here on Thursday night, but Barca just about scraping themselves over the line. I will see you all soon with more coming up. Thank you indeed for tuning in here. Let me know those thoughts down below. But until next time, as always, Vishka, Yelbasa. Uh -huh.